welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing kind of a dupe test to see if something might be a dupe. I'm not sure if it will be or not. If you've been watching recent videos of mine or you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am a fan of Charlotte Tilbury's products. They are luxury end products and I've been playing with her eyeshadows for about a year now and I really, really find them spot on high quality. I've been using her blush and I've also recently purchased her newer Magic Away concealer. And I have been enjoying it, it's been fine, but it has not blown me away the way that I expected. What I found interesting about it is it has this little like click up sponge top, which obviously mine's a bit dirty, I've been using it, but what that really put me in mind of is a drugstore concealer that I used to love and swear by, and that is the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. So, let me get it out of the package here. So as you can see, oh, there's still packaging. You really have to want it, oh my God. So as you can see, this guy has the same kind of click top, um, spongy sort of applicator. And I remembered this, I remembered really being impressed and wowed by it, so I thought I would do a side-by-side -side wear test to see if this $8 concealer could be a dupe for this one, which I think was like 38, but I'll check and let you know later in the video. So what I thought I would do is get my foundation on first, um, I find that if I put foundation on first, I sometimes don't need as much concealer as I would maybe initially think. So for today's video, I'm gonna go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, which I did a review of a couple weeks ago. Still using it, still loving it. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of that on my face before we go in with the concealer. Okay, I'm not gonna layer that on too much today because it's a pretty chill day for me, and I also don't want to um, cover up too, too much because I want you to be able to really see what the concealer is doing. So first, let's go in with Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna zoom you guys in, and I think I'm gonna do Charlotte on the right eye and Maybelline on the left. There we go, up close and personal. Okay, so I'm going in with the Charlotte product on the right. I'm gonna click some product up into that sponge, and then the way I typically will do it is kind of just in dots. I like to dot out here where I've got a little bit of a darker pigmentation, and then I kind of go down around the nose too. So this whole area is just like a little bit brighter, and then I blend it in with a beauty blender. So here we go. So you can see it has a really nice brightening effect, um, and it feels nice. It doesn't feel too cakey or anything. Um, and it does a pretty good job of concealing. Like, you know, the darkness, the dark circle is peeking through a little bit there, but it does a pretty decent job. Like I said, just pretty pretty good for a concealer. You know, I don't, um, I don't I'm not super wowed by it the way that I was with, you know, like the NARS Soft Matte, but um, still pretty good concealer as far as concealers go. I mean, this side versus this side, pretty impressive. So now I'm gonna go in on this side with the Maybelline. I'm gonna have to click this up into the sponge because it's brand new. I'm also hoping that the colors aren't too dramatically different because I do have to leave the house today and that would be embarrassing. So I'm gonna go in the same way with this guy. It's just got like a little little piddly dot coming out of the sponge there, so I might have to catch up a little bit. But going in in the same pattern here, trying to like, okay, it actually looks like it's pretty similar in color, so that's, that's good. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Blender and dab that out as well. So we are fully blended out. I feel really close, up close and personal to you guys. Fully blended. Um, I noticed two things off the bat. The Charlotte Tilbury feels slightly more hydrating, but I feel like the coverage and the line smoothing on this side is better. Like I feel like if you look underneath my eyes where there's like a little bit of creping going on, I feel like the Maybelline has done a better job of smoothing out this area than the Charlotte Tilbury has. And I mean, we're getting really nitpicky here, but um, so that's that. The colors obviously match, which is super nice. So let's zoom you back out because I feel like I'm all up in your business. Okay, so for time stamping purposes, it is 10.20 a.m. Um, this isn't quite like a foundation test where I'm super concerned about the longevity, but um, I am gonna go ahead and get this set up. I'm gonna use my Clinique uh, loose powder. And I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Blender and set the under eye areas here first. So that way you'll know that they've been set evenly. 
at the same time. And there we are. So, so far I have to say pretty even in terms of coverage for under eye darkness. Um, the little bit of sort of hydration feeling that I feel under this eye to me is not worth the extra money on the price tag, which again, I'll double check for you guys and let you know. So I'm gonna set the rest of my face, put on a little bit of makeup, and I'll check back in with you guys in a couple of hours just like we do a foundation test and I'll let you know if it's settling into the lines or doing anything funky like that. So sit tight and I'll be back. All right guys, it's been about two hours and I have just been staring at my two eyes in my magnified mirror and for the life of me, I am not seeing a difference. So I'm gonna zoom you in. Okay, so this is where we're at and I'm not seeing any difference. I was even kind of like just tugging and moving and playing a little bit. Let's see if I can't get that to focus a little bit better. I was kind of like just tugging and moving and what I've noticed is both of them are moving with my skin really well, so it's not like when I move a little bit like that, that it's cracking or anything, or like it's insisting on staying where I put it. Both sides are moving with my skin beautifully again. This was the Charlotte Tilbury and this was the Maybelline, so two hours in, they're performing pretty much the same. And as promised, I did, I actually just looked it up on my phone because I forgot to and I knew if I didn't do it right now, I'd forget again. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer is $32 and the Maybelline was $7.99 at Target. So there's your price comparison before I forget to do that at our next check-in. Um, so I don't have anything else to say. There they are, pretty equal, even keel for the first two hours in. So I'll just keep it rolling and I'll be back for another check-in soon. All right guys, it's about four o'clock, so we are going on almost six hours of wear here. I'm gonna zoom you guys in in a second. Um, I have a fan on over in the background because it's insufferably hot in my study right now. It's 86 degrees in the middle of October, not quite the middle of October, but you feel me. It's almost 90 degrees outside and it's October. It's supposed to be boot season, I'm supposed to be in a sweater. Instead, I'm in a jersey skirt and a t-shirt. It's ridiculous. So anyway, um, I popped back on to my little magnifying mirror and I was looking again. The two concealers are wearing completely evenly. They look exactly the way that I would expect them to look six hours in after I've been making facial expressions and whatnot all day. Um, but I can see no discernible difference. So I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see if you do. So here we are again, the Maybelline over here and the Charlotte Tilbury over here. And what I mean, I, I feel like here on both sides a little bit, you can kind of start to see it like settling into the lines, moving a bit with the expressions, but it's not breaking apart. It's not coming off. The coverage is still really good and still really even. So um, again, as far as my wallet is concerned, $32 versus $8 for some for such comparable quality, it's really a no-brainer. So that's where I'm at. I don't expect it to really change all that much from here on out. So what I will probably do is just run out the rest of my day and then pop back on here a little bit later right before I take my makeup off and let that be kind of like a final showdown chit chat about it. But I think we already know which way I'm leaning. Hi you guys, so I'm popping in with the final check-in for the night. It is 6.46 p.m. So we've been wearing the concealers for about eight and a half hours now, but I just kind of want to relax into my evening, get gunk off my face, and move on with my life. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. I've been staring at my findings in my magnified mirror here, and I wanna show you guys sort of what I'm thinking. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna to try to show you what I'm noticing at this point. So. Obviously, they both look more or less the same, really, but what I noticed is if you pull a little bit on the skin here, I'll show you what I'm trying to point out here. As you're moving the skin, so as you're moving and making your expressions, right? Over here, right in this area, the concealer is kind of starting to dry in place so that when I'm making those facial expressions and moving the skin a little bit, it's not continuing to move with the skin as well. Obviously, like first world problems, right? It still looks pretty damn good. But this side, where we had the Maybelline, I'm not getting as much dryness and cracking in that area. And I mean, I say as much, understanding that there's really very little to begin with. But here they are again, just up close and personal. You can see my eyes looking so tired. 
This is the side with the Maybelline. And over here, you've got the Charlotte Tilbury. So all in all, crazy, crazy findings with this. So I really wasn't expecting this outcome. Um, it was really just a little cushiony top that I saw on this guy that put me in mind of this guy. And I thought, you know what, let's go head to head. But um, if you're new here, you might not have heard me say this before, but I do try to say this a lot on my channel. I don't think that something has to be luxury brand to be quality. In many cases, that is true. Not necessarily luxury brand, but higher quality ingredients, a more expensive product. For instance, I've, I know I've said it a million times, eyeshadow formulations, typically the ones that come from um, some brands that are a little bit more expensive, sometimes luxury name, um, tend to work a little bit better as far as is what you want from your product to pay off. Um, shoes are another one, you know, if you go for the genuine leather as opposed to a synthetic, you're gonna just have a much more high quality look and feel and it's gonna last a lot longer for you. But things like concealers, um, you know, any number of other items that I test and try out, um, you don't always have to have a $32 concealer when an $8 one will perform just as well. So. That was a fun little test that I wasn't expecting. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, definitely Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This stuff is incredible. Target, drugstores everywhere, whatever you need. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed. If you're new here, welcome. Click subscribe on your way out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.